Hello, Gatewood Gators. This is Mrs. Ravello. I'm here to do a little lesson with you on word work. And this week in word work, we're going to be learning about open and closed syllables. Syllables are little parts of words, as we know. And breaking down words into syllables can really help us read them and learn how to spell them. So this week, the first group of words, we're just going to read them together. You can read along with me and think about what kind of vowel sound you hear. Tub, cat, fit. Is that a long or short U? Oh, tub. Yeah, that's a short U. It ends with a B, which is a consonant. T-U-B. Short vowel, consonant ending. Interesting. Cat, cat. Short or long A? Ah, that's right, it's a short A. That. that also ends with a syllable. T. T is a syllable. Cat. Fit. Short or long vowel. I. That's right. It's a short I. All three of these words have a short vowel <coughs> sound and they all end with a consonant too. Now let's look over here. These are not words. These are all parts of words. They're syllables. It looks like some of them are prefixes. We'll just read them and we'll think about the vowel sound and what kind of ending they have. Un, less, miss, dis, lem, pen, con, prob. Un, short vowel, ends with a syllable. Less, short vowel, ends with a syllable. Miss, short i, ends with a syllable. Dis, short i, ends with a syllable. E, lem, Short E ends with a syllable. Pen, short E ends with a syllable. Con, short O ends with a syllable. And prob, short O ends with a syllable. All of these syllables have a short vowel. They all end with a syllable. They are called closed syllables. Let's take a look here. Putting them together now. I'm going to put a dot. I'm going to go over here in my drawing tool. I'm going to put a dot between the syllables. Problem. Problem. Short O ends with a syllable. Short E because it ends with a syllable. Interesting. Discuss. Discuss. Dis. Short I ends with a syllable. Short U ends with a syllable. Pom pom. That has a hyphen in the middle. I'm going to put a dot here. Pom. Short O ends with a syllable. Short O ends with a syllable. Subject. Sub. Short U ends with a syllable. Ject. Short E ends with a syllable. All of these words are closed. All of these syllables are closed syllables. And these words have two syllables each. Problem. Discuss. Pom pom. Subject. So if you come across a word and you're not sure how to pronounce it, if you look at that word and you think it might be problem, you might say, well, wait, oh, this first syllable ends with a consonant, so it has to be a short vowel, well, usually anyway. All right, so let's go to the next set of uh, syllables. We, go, so, he. Think about what kind of vowels these have. Are they long vowels or short vowels? We, that's right. Remember the long vowel says its own name. We is a long E. It does not have a syllable at the end. I'm sorry, it does not have a consonant at the end. Go, long O, no consonant. So, long O, no consonant. He, long O, no consonant. These are called open syllables. They're open. They have a vowel at the end. They don't end with a consonant. They tend to always say their own name. It would be long vowels. Let's take a look here. There's some more, these are some syllable parts. Re, pre, Pro, ve. I might look at that and want to say va, but I'm going to say ve because there's no um, consonant at the end. I could say ma, but I'm going to say mu or mu. Long u. Lie, bay, sigh. These are open syllables. Let's see what words these syllables can find uh, form. Get my drawing tool out again. I might think that that might be fennel until I had this lesson and now I know that it is final, final. Sometimes you can draw the long vowel 
symbol over the top. Final. That would not be bacon. That is bacon. 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 Long A. Long I. Pilot. Long I. Pilot. Not pilot because there's a consonant at the end of that one. Mo. Meant. There's the syllable there. Mo. Long O. And short E. Moment. So those were open syllables. Open syllables, when there's a vowel at the end of the syllable, not a consonant, you tend to make that a long, the long vowel that says its own name. Let's look at some more here. These are words. Let's think about these words. Met, rat, bat, cot, mop, prob, and prep. Some of these are words and some are just syllables. What do you notice about them? They do all have a consonant at the end. They do all have a short vowel sound. They fit the rule. <clears throat> Excuse me. Oh, and look at these ones. They all, I can just look at them without even reading them. And I, know, I don't notice any consonants at the end. So let's read them and see if they fit the rule. Me, po, bay, mo, re, co, pre, pro. I'm knowing that I'm going to pronounce, even though that's not a word, it's a syllable, I'm not going to say ra because there's no consonant at the end. Now it's going to help me when I find that ra in a word. If that syllable ends with a, it's going to be probably pronounced ra. I mean, sorry, I said that wrong. It's going to probably be pronounced re. All right, let's go to bay four here. Is that the same as three? What is the difference? Oh, there's more. Yep, there are some more. Okay, now there's a mixture of them. And I'm gonna I'm gonna kind of underline a word and I'm gonna have you say it at home, thinking about how you might pronounce it, thinking about the consonant at the end. You say it and then I'll then we'll check. That's right, mop, short vowel. You say it? Me, long vowel. Ray, long vowel. That short vowel, there's a consonant there. Po, long O. Prep, short E. Bay, long A. Mo, long A. Prob, Shh, I'm recording. Short O. Met. Short E. Co. Long O. As compared to cot. Short O. Cot has a consonant at the end. Short O. Co does not have a consonant at the end. Long O. Pre. Oops, I read it for you. <laughs> Pre. You got it. Pro. And rat. All right, so as you're reading this week and always, think about breaking words into syllables. And if your syllable ends with a consonant, you're probably going to say a short vowel sound. And if your syllable ends with a vowel, it's probably going to have a long vowel sound. Your activity this week, I have given you an attachment in today's, in this week's schedule that says build a word. And then build a word, you can print that page out or you can look at it and copy it down. And you're going to be cutting apart parts of words and then building those words. And the list of words is at the bottom of that page. So you can cut them out. And the way they're cut is um, according to syllables. So have fun with that. And the last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the spelling words for this week that I that you maybe looked at on Monday. And they're a review of last week's word uh, sound, which is re, the prefix re. So try to practice spelling these words this week. Spell them, cover them up, try to write them, take a look, make any corrections that you need to, and write them again. Or you could try writing them in rainbow colors, write each letter in a different color of the rainbow. I'll just read them to you once. Reread. R-E-R-E-A-D. And you're going to notice all of these have a syllable that ends with a vowel. I'll just point that out now because they all say re with a long e. 
repack, R-E-P-A-C-K, repaint, R-E-P-A-I-N-T, reload, R-E-L-O-A-D, remake, R-E-M-A-K-E, rethink, R-E-T-H-I-N-K, reheat, R-E-H-E-A-T, rename, R-E-N-A-M-E. So this week, try to spell these words by the end of the week correctly. During the other days of the week, you can do your build a word, looking at these different word sounds, these syllables, and uh, predicting whether there's going to be a long vowel or a short vowel. There's also a spelling lesson that Miss Thun Taylor has included in the schedule, and that has a different spelling pattern, but that's a really good lesson too with a few videos. So have fun this week working with words, improving your spelling and decoding skills. I will see you again soon. Bye-bye.